Today, I'm running a marathon with no practice, as you do. 26.2 miles of hell. Just to get me started, I've had a millionaire's shortcake, which I'm sure is what Mo Farah does. I've never run a marathon before. I'm not trained for it. What could possibly go wrong? Everything. Okay, first mile done. 25 more to go. Duration, 13 minutes, 53 seconds. Not very fast. Already tired, already warm, dehydrated. It's gonna be tough. This is a lot nicer than I thought it would be. Should definitely not have put a rucksack on. Nightmare to run with a rucksack. Remaining distance 24.2 miles. Uh, hopefully we can just go around. I feel like we've got backstage access. Right, that's on the water. They've built a path on the water. Modern engineering at its finest. <laughs> I've never seen this before. Now that is amazing. Can we go again? We should have more random footpaths on water. Just walks on water, do you know what I mean? Basically, Jesus. The heat doesn't make this any easier. That's 20 degrees today. Three miles done. I know, I hope he leaves some for me. <laughs> I was hoping that if I ran quick enough, I'd outrun the sun and I wouldn't get burnt. It's not going to plant at the moment, really, is it? Burn me, come on, burn me. I dare you. Like something out of GTA 5. This is always where crimes go down in TV shows, films. Street art, probably like Banksy or something. Breasts. Sort of, you know, high class stuff. We're not even four miles in and I'm thinking about lunch already. It's only 25 past 11. Four miles done. Five miles done. Look at this. It's beautiful. Six miles done. Nearly a four shot away there. Legs are starting to ache now. And I really don't know where we're going now because the path is just about to run out. We're really off in the sticks now. Possibly bear grills would do, you know. Yeah, I genuinely don't know where we're going now. Not like I did before. Seven miles done. We're halfway to the halfway point. We are in Methley, the land of mess. Methlehem. Just stopped off at the greenhouse, as you saw. Didn't look much from the outside, but I tell you what, just had a bacon sandwich there. Had about half a pig in it. It was madness. Had like trotters and all sorts. It was pouring out as the bacon. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm gonna have to stop soon to unload the bladder. It is full of urine. Sure, I could just urinate in here. The bladder is now empty. Probably not, but for now. Eight miles done. Come on, that bacon bussy. It's done me good. We're now literally not even on a dirt track, it's just grass now. It says please keep to the footpath. What footpath? Do you know what I mean? Like there's not really one there. So because we're going to be in an exposed area for the next couple of miles, I put my fleece on. Obviously it's way too warm for a fleece, but I do need to cover up my arms whilst I'm walking and completely exposed. I mean, there's no shade here at all. Nine miles. Nine miles done. So about a third of the way now. This does look very promising. Doesn't look very welcoming though, does it? With the farmer's field not looking very welcoming, I decided to turn around early and head back the way I came. Now you might be wondering, Ed, why are you actually deciding to do this? It's a bit random. But for me, I did my ACL a few years back, still not 100%. I kind of wanted to do this sort of to prove that I still could do these kind of things. Not that I ever used to do marathons, but I did used to play a lot of football. Obviously that's a lot of running. And so today is really about just sort of proving to myself that I can still do these kind of things. I guess it's more of a mental endurance in the end of it than a physical one. 10 miles, come on! Oh look, that's where I urinated. Memories. 11 miles now done, two miles away from the halfway point. So I just stopped off to go get some more water at that same place that I stopped off at for a bacon sandwich. And uh, as she was giving me the water, she said, uh, see you later, Ed. So she <laughs> remembers my name. And now after an hour and a half, which is pretty impressive, I gave her my name obviously for the bacon sandwich. Impressed that she'd remembered it after an hour and a half. It's all right. I don't know why, I don't know why she's remembered it, but no, I'm not saying, I'm not saying she liked me. <laughs> Stop it. No, I'm not saying she liked me, I'm just saying it's a bit weird. 90 minutes and she's remembered my name. Mm. Ah, no, you make up your own minds whether she likes me or not. I don't know, it's up to you. Stretch it out, big boy. Come on. Oh, and someone's coming, so let's wrap that up quickly. It's actually helped quite a lot. <laughs> Should have done that at the start, really. 12 miles done. 
one more mile and we'll be at the halfway point. done which means any minute now we're about to hit halfway halfway point reached come on halfway chicken and bacon tesco's every little helps a bit battered after the half marathon but it'll do 14 miles done i'm out here in the wild some uh, some blackberries it looks somewhat edible this is it we, we are now resulting to eating fruit from the wild. Oh. A bit tart. That is rank. This is what happens though when you're out in the wild. You start eating, you know, wild blackberries, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, I'm pretty rock and roll. I eat God's God's fruit and all that. Didn't someone get killed for that? Wasn't it? Wasn't it Jack and Jill? No, who was it? Adam and Eve. That was Adam and Eve. One of them got killed. Both of them got killed for eating God's fruit or whatever. I don't know. Someone got killed. Genocide. There was some genocide. Come on! Ah. Sorry. Let's calm it down, do you know what I mean? It's like I'm mental. If I run too quick, it'll be a four minute video. <laughs> People talk about going through like a midlife crisis. I'm going through a mid marathon crisis, which arguably is worse, I'd say. Oh, blackberries. Does that look a bit diseased? <sighs> Definitely blackberries. Yeah, looks like it. I'm going to like that one, you know. I'm going to be excreting myself all the way home. Lovely. Look at that, that's massive. That's lovely. Just check for no uh, no bird poo. No more berry stops for a little bit. Let's get another couple of miles done. 15 miles done. 16 miles done. 10 miles to go. It's my favorite walkway. It's back. We're walking on water again. It feels like you shouldn't be walking on it. Oh, it's like a bouncy castle. This is fantastic. It takes me back to being a kid again. I'm starting to walk like I've messed myself. I haven't. But it's getting to that point where my legs are sort of like, you know, sort of bumbling along. Oh, I have slowed down a lot now, a lot more walking. Ankles are starting to hurt. Everywhere's really sort of hurting. Surprisingly though, my ACL knee is all right at the moment. Like it's not too bad. Seven miles to go, 19 miles done. 20 miles. I believe that 20 miles. Jesus. Six miles to go. For the final six miles, I went back home, dropped off the bag, and went out running again. 22 miles done. Four miles to go. Everything's just switched off now. I am still jogging, but it's tough. 24 miles done. Two miles to go. Less than a mile to go. Come on. With the end nearly in sight, I mustered up all the energy I had for one final push. But could I complete the marathon without any practice? Twenty six point two two miles. Oh, and yeah, I've uh, started burning already. This is not going to be good. You've got to hit the like button and subscribe now. Come on, I'm burning for you. Jesus.